am Joanna, and I think you know what I'm gonna say. Shit! <laughs> To be or not to be. Or nowadays, it's to be or not to be posting about how you're going gluten-free on Facebook. Answer, not to be, ever. Social media has separated who we are into two different things. There's who we are in person, and then there's who we are online. Oh, we are going deep today. We're going philosophical. It's become a crucial part in expressing our personalities. Everyone, whether they like to admit it or not, plays a character based on themselves versus who they genuinely are. For example, Chris on the show acts like a jerk, but in real life, he's a jerk. Go f So here are some characters that we all know, hate, and maybe even are on social media. First up, the I love my boo. I get it, you're in love, and you want to express some of that love with some selfie of you guys making out at some beach at St. Awesome. If you guys are really into showing off how happy you guys are in your relationship, cool. But some things you need to keep personal. For example, don't post something on each other's walls like, I want to be your baby's mommy. That is a real comment I read on my real Facebook feed. Hashtag kill me. This is something you should be saying to each other in person, not in public. In fact, you're probably gonna see that person in an hour. You live together. It's the word mommy, isn't the it? The word mommy makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's serious. Next, the person who is on a diet. Won't well, shut the f up. Good for you, you're trying to get your health on and shit. Workout photos, fine, just not all the time. That link from your workout app that shows us the map of the 5K you ran? No, it looks like you're playing Snake on an old Nokia phone. It confuses me a lot. But, and I cannot stress this enough, never show us a picture of what you're eating for your diet. Why? It is just a plate of egg whites and dry toast. Where did the yolk go? To make an eggs Benny? That will be way more delicious? The girl who looks hot all of the time. Always a perfect picture. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I just woke up this way. No one looks that good. The thing is, these pictures always look the same because they're doing one of these. And you, they look, look up at the camera. Oh, hold on. Can you help me? Help you lift your boobs up? Yeah. The first one up. Like, yeah, like, oh. yep. yep, okay. Do they look up? Can I feel they... uncomfortable answering the question. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel them. I don't like that this was a part of my job. Oh my God, they look amazing. <laughs> they always look a little surprised. Oh, who's taking my picture? And then when you see the person, you're like, is that this though? You don't look like that. And that's okay because you have ribs and a normal face. <sighs> I can't breathe on this. I'll get the scissors. And now we've arrived to the affluent asshole. This is the guy for whom the internet was made to brag. This is the person who posts pictures of their new Mercedes Benz with the caption, traded in the old one, it was only two years old. <laughs> Sharing their location at that one restaurant with $50 appetizers. What the f dude? Apparently money can buy you nice things, but what it can't buy you is a likable personality. Oh shit. Burn! And finally, the activist police. Hello there, Clark. We all know Clark. He said he's lived abroad, but it was four weeks and he stayed at a hotel, F Clark. He experimented with a beard and it looked like shit. You post a cute picture with your poodle and here comes Clark with his f comment. Do you know that purebred dogs like poodles are made through incest, so they have genetic deformities which cause them to die young? You should adopt. Thanks, Clark! Didn't know that! How you were tagged at a picture in a bakery. Here's an article that proves that cupcakes cause oil spills and racism. Hey, Clark, uh, quick thing. Um, I'm on following the f out of you! I pressed that button so hard I broke my mouse! You alright? Yeah, I just found my center again. Clark's not real. Just take a breath. I won't say his name. Point is, I think we all take on these characters because we want to express the person we want to be versus the person that we actually are. Except for that one friend you have who posts pictures of their injuries. Put that hangnail away, Natalia, for God's sakes. I don't want to admit that I look awful in the morning or that my feelings can get hurt. But if we treat the internet a little bit more real, we might get something more human out of it. But what other annoying characters do you know of that I missed? Tell me in the comments below. So until next time, I'm Joanna and I've said my piece. I'm taking my boob tape with me.